Ford Hall. Number two, here's the schedule. The door is closed. Then you knock or come in. Once you come into the classroom, Scan the QR code, fill out your name and the information, and then you'll be getting an ukulele. You can request to get the concert or a soprano sized ukulele. And the soprano sized ukuleles are much are smaller. The number is on the back of the ukulele. For example, this one is S24. Then to get a concert size ukulele, then on the back you'll see a C and a number. On returning the ukulele, again you can scan that same form, but this time you put returning the ukulele and fill out the information. Then you're going to use the antibacterial wipes to wipe off your instrument and then you return it. Join the Ukulele Period 234 Google Classroom. This is the join code, and in the Google Classroom, in this top left corner, you'll see the meet link. If we ever have to go onto the Google Meets, you click on that link right here, and then you can join the meet. So, for example, here you'll see the stream. So any announcements will be posted here. So here I already have posted some information. Welcome message. <clears throat> Subscribe to our YouTube channel, FHS Ukulele. That's where you'll find all the songs and things to practice and the weekly lessons. If you'd like to borrow a ukulele, here's the rental form. If you don't have a printer, you can hand write out the same information or ask the teacher for a hard copy in class. Here's the ukulele syllabus. And then do join the Quizlet. That's where we'll have some extra credit work. Some of our games and activities will be on there. Here is our ukulele orientation. Welcome. Some housekeeping rules. Attendance check-in at the door. Fill out the contactless QR code form. We all want to stay safe. Be sure to have your student ID. We've had, in the past, students pretending to be another student and we really don't know who they were. So have your student ID. Restrooms in Building A. Fill out the digital hall pass when you leave the room. Take a picture of the digital hall pass to show security. Fill out the digital hall pass when you return. So here's the digital hall pass. And you fill out your information. And you also fill the same uh, scan the same QR code when you return and put the turn return time. More housekeeping. Please be on time to class. Uh, once in a while, you'll be late. Um, just always try to be on time. Please wear your mask at all times. Use the hand sanitizer at the door. So this is where, at the door, the hand sanitizer should be. And we hopefully will be getting one soon distance to the greatest extent possible and keep chairs in their place. We have them maximized for the greatest distance possible. Oh, ukulele Google Classroom, please do join it. I invited everyone. There are a couple of students. I don't have your email. So if you didn't get an invite, then um, let me know and I will try to get your email. So join the Google Classroom. Here's where you'll find the announcements, assignments, communications, and you'll also be able to submit any assignments here in that Google Classroom. The Google Classroom is also the lifeline should there be any interruption in in-person learning due to the mounting and ever-present pandemic. Do bring your Chromebooks or electronic devices to class. We will use these to type into the chat, play online games, ask questions, view videos, 
review tutorials and more. You can use the Google Classroom or email the teacher if you have any questions or need to communicate with anyone or find out assignments if you've been absent. The Google Classroom is where you can also find the Google Meets link if we ever do need to meet virtually. Here is the Ukulele Google Classroom join code. You can scan that in. And it's a good idea to get a QR code reader app on your phone if you don't already have one. Or if you don't have an iPhone, then you'll need to download something. And they're free. There are a whole lot of programs. Okay, so we're going on. Next, how are you going to get graded in our class? It's in the syllabus. But grading class attendance is 50%. So showing up every day is half the battle. Your daily effort and participation attitude is 10%. So what you do on a day-to-day -day basis, any assignments are 20%. Final project is 20%. It's usually in the form of a video or some kind of performance. And you can do extra credit work to make up anything you've missed. Total percentage 100%. The grading scale of an A is 90 to 100%. B is 80 to 89 percent, C is 70 to 79 percent, D is 60 to 69 percent, and F is 0 to 59 percent. Here's the QR code for the class syllabus. You can also find that in the Google Classroom. But there's all the information on grading and some of the policies and the music standards we'll be covering. Please do join the class YouTube channel. I made a channel called FHS Ukulele on the YouTube. Here you'll find new songs, assignments, tutorials, and more. You can also practice using the videos here. You'll see some of the old videos that we did on there as well. So go ahead and subscribe to that, then you'll get any new notifications of songs and videos that do come out. Class participation. Please do participate with the class. That means you're not sleeping, lying down, doing nothing, etc. Try your best. Do tell the teacher if you are not feeling well physically or emotionally, or if you're physically sick, please do stay home, especially during this pandemic. Do try your best at all times. Feel free to ask any questions or let the teacher know if you're not understanding or getting something. Just ask, raise your hand, speak up, or type it in the chat, email the teacher. Do rest your hand and fingers if they're getting sore, especially in the beginning if you have not played a string instrument or any instrument at all. Your hands may get blistered, your fingers may get sore, so go ahead and rest them. You need to build up the kind of like a toughness in your finger to be able to play the string instruments. We will be breaking into small groups to practice and learn from each other during the class. That was a suggestion from last semester. They wanted to really work with their peers. So we're going to allow some time for that this semester to learn from each other and practice with each other like uh, small group buddies. Please use your phone or electronic device only for class-related activities. So during class, don't be playing your online games or doing something non-class-related. So signing out ukuleles. Each day, each student needs to sign out for an ukulele to be used. Use the digital sign-out form, the QR code, to sign out the ukulele to be used for the day. The ukulele number is taped onto the back of the ukulele, so don't uh, remove that tape. There are two sizes of ukulele that can be borrowed for class use. Soprano is the smallest, concert is the second largest, and we have one tenor. You can request either size, first come first served. The ukulele needs to be returned at the end of the class. Use the same digital sign out in form, that's the QR code paper, to return the ukulele at the end of class. Please use the antibacterial wipes provided to disinfect the ukulele before you return it. Thank you for returning all of the ukuleles. Some of you may want to borrow an ukulele to take home and practice. You can borrow an ukulele to take home. To do this, please fill out the instrument rental form and there's no cost unless it's lost. Ask the teacher for a form, take it home and have it signed by your parent or guardian and then bring it back to school. You can then take home an instrument. You can hold on to your borrowed ukulele for the duration of the semester and return it at the end of the semester. We still have students that didn't return it from last year, so be sure to return it, otherwise we run out. Instrumental, instrument rental form, here's that code. 
I also have it linked in the Google Classroom if you like to do that. If you don't have a printer, you can hand copy the same information onto a paper, have it signed and bring it in and use it the same way. All right, COVID safety precautions. We're trying to be as safe as possible. We've got to keep all of our students and everyone on campus safe. So these are things we want to do. To be safe, stay home if you're feeling ill, have a fever, a cough, runny nose, nausea, or other symptoms. Wear your mask at all times. Sneeze or cough in your mask. Do not take it off. Use the hand sanitizer upon entering the room. Physical distance as much as possible in class. Do not move the chairs. Sign in using the contactless attendance QR code. Have your student ID with you so we know who you really are. Do not bring friends to class who are not enrolled. Because of the COVID, there's contact tracing. We don't know who you are. When we have COVID, we cannot trace where you, who's been where, who's been in this room. So only students enrolled come to class. 10. Use the antibacterial wipes to clean your ukulele when returning it. Use the antibacterial wipes to clean your chair. Now, let the teacher know if you have any questions, and we can always address those. But welcome to ukulele class. It's kind of our brief orientation of our class procedures, policies, and things like that. So welcome, and we hope to have a great year.